What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Got the tractor flipped back over uh, after yesterday's debacle at the end. Uh, and we're going to continue on delivering this sorghum here. We have uh, how long left on this contract? 47% done. That's pretty good, actually. We're doing pretty well. Uh, I would like to pick up another one at some point. 20 is potatoes. So we'd have to pick up 29, which is a $19,000 contract. I'd like to do that, too. Uh, we do have bales we got to finish up. So between doing this, we'll get back to jumping on bales. This should be a continuation from yesterday, I guess. Uh, and we'll keep on, keep on, keeping on. Uh, also, if you're here live uh, and you and you like to catch the, the cut down version on YouTube later, um, these will start on Friday this week since I didn't stream Monday. I'll start these on Friday. So it'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday instead of Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Don't forget, on Friday on YouTube, uh, on the main channel, we do uh, a community surf. Back on uh, the Lost Corner, which I absolutely love the map. I absolutely detest that they built it over another map and didn't do things correctly. I love the way the map's laid out. But the fact they didn't do it the right way just absolutely chaffs my britches up. I tell you what. Uh, just absolutely silly. Absolutely silly. Just silly. The way people do things like that. But anyway, uh, back over to the field. And uh, I love the map, though. Don't get me wrong. I love the map. Just if you make a map on Farm Sim, please don't build over the top of other fields. Clear it or whatever you have to do. I don't know how that works, but but I know that it works. I know you can clear stuff out. Clear stuff out. Stop building over the top of other things. It makes the uh, it makes the AI confused, uh, and they don't do the fields correctly. So don't do that. It's it's weird. Anyway, uh, back over here to empty out some more sort. Good on my end, anyway. Pulling up to unload some sorghum. Uh, maybe we gotta get Jimmy moving again. I think that's part of the issue here. Let's see, Jimmy, get with it, son. And we'll probably do the same thing. We'll just follow him to the end of the row, I guess. Maybe if he ever gets close. Come on, man. Uh, well, I guess there was it was full, so it's 9,500 in there. And really, I guess we don't have to follow him this time. We could probably just we probably just take off, and get back to doing this. There we go. Uh, back to the grass we get. Uh, and this isn't gonna take that long either, but should be a pretty good, uh, pretty decent. Um, yield off the field. It's better. It's going to be better than what we have been getting. Uh, it needed to be plowed. It needed lime. We didn't have lime, though, sadly. Uh, hopefully soon we get some sort of lime device in here. It looks like the store is starting to clear out. The sell page is starting to clear out. People buying up some of the used stuff. Uh, so maybe there's some more stuff coming at some point. Never know what's going to turn up there, so we're kind of kind of holding our breath here to make sure nothing pops up we're going to need. Jimmy's at 80% on the grain tank. We'll get him emptied out here in a second. Well, oh, hang on. We got to go. Jimmy! Wait for me, Jimmy. Where are we at here? Jimmy is slap full up here. All right, go get, go get this run. We're just gonna follow him like we normally do, and fill up, and then go ahead and take it because we're getting, uh, we're getting there. Fifty-nine percent uh, details. We got to deliver seventy-two thousand more, so we're gonna have three and a half more trips. No, four, four more trips. Yeah, about four more trips. Well, not quite four, I guess, but yeah, pretty close. Pretty close to that. I wouldn't even pay attention. I was sitting there yabbing away. Sorry about that, Jimmy. Bad, I just broke my own harvester. No big deal. No big deal. What's up, J-Rock? How's it going, buddy? What's up, Jeremy? How's it going, bud?
It's going. Good to hear. Cruise control. There we go. And it's not going to take much. Only need about 800 more liters and we'll be full. So. Had to see how the farm and Jimmy were doing. We're doing okay. I'm the one that actually flipped the tractor yesterday. So. Uh, Jimmy was just over here working on the field, waiting on me. And I, I ran over a car, flipped the trailer and tractor over. Grain everywhere. It was a mess. It was a mess. And that was all me. I was texting and driving. That's what happened. It is August, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think um, the last you probably saw, we were probably doing. It was probably just a couple months in game, really. But yeah, we're moving along, though. Definitely moving along. Definitely getting along to get along here. Ugh. You didn't stop. I guess that's what happens when we stop obeying the traffic laws, so do they. <laughs> they didn't stop at all. There's an old Massey in the store. Ray, you didn't tell me you had this thing now. 225 horsepower. We go to the big engine on it. That's 80,000 more. Oh no, it's the same dang price. By the time we do that, and then we do GPS, uh, and we do, instead of the tow bar, if we do a three point, um, we're looking at 238 it's the same dang price uh, but of course it does have 100 more horsepower for the same price though well this is just awkward again here come on yes yes the hill that's what we wanted Stevie Boot thank you for the follow much appreciated welcome I promise it's not always like this just sometimes Got it. I told you I'd get it. But yeah, anyway, having that big McCormick uh, <laughs> goes 31 miles an hour. It's got plenty of horsepower. Uh, I didn't really, you know what, I'm going to stop this time because I want to go back and look at this thing now. Uh, I didn't know Ray had this in stock. 140. If we do the big engine, it's the same price. If we do the GPS and then the three point instead of the tow bar. And we leave it at that. We got 375 horsepower GPS, and it's only 3,000 more dollars. It is a wiggle butt. Um, but I mean, oh, it only goes 18, though. Do I need that much horsepower? And that's another thing, too. Do I really need that much horsepower? Ray, you got me sitting here in the middle of the road looking at my tablet on your store page trying to figure out what I want to buy next. And I ain't even got the money to buy nothing. How much does that Heston Baylor need? And he's 190. That's not that bad, really. Not that bad. I know that. I know this bell loader though is going to need a lot of pull. So it holds 10 Heston bales. But those are going to be very, very, very heavy. <laughs> very heavy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which that's not actually that much. We got this trailer. We can sell back if need be, and then we have. Uh, this baler we can sell back if need be. Which we probably will if we're going with this thing. Because we can do all of it with this. And then we need a bell wrapper. And we can sell our bell wrapper back. Which we paid $22,000 for. We'll pay $42,000 for this one. Uh, the Ray's Heston wrapper there. Um, yeah. I mean, there's just there's so, there's so many good options there. But it's going to cost us a little bit of money. But we'll be able to get rid of some trailers and some balers and wrappers and stuff ourselves. So we'll be selling some of that stuff back. Or trading it in, I guess if you want to call it that. We'll be trading it in uh, for the other gear, which is not a bad deal, honestly. So yeah, once we get the tractor, it won't take a whole lot. We'll get the baler and the wrapper and the, and the trailer, the whole setup there. The main thing is going to be getting the, the baler... Uh, and the trailer together. And then after that, we can worry about the rest of it. 
We can worry about the rapper later. Oh, but I do, Bob. I'd love to have real-time damage in Farm Sim. Uh, I wouldn't just be running through stop signs and stuff. I'd, I'd actually be paying attention and slowing down and, and playing correctly. I would not be doing that right there. <laughs> I'd actually be playing like I'm supposed to be. Right, I don't want to sit in the crops. I'm just going to pull up a little bit here and uh, let him empty it out enough to turn around probably. Yeah, man, now I don't know. That Massey would be great. It'd be a great addition to the farm, keep it Massey all the way through. But the McCormick is basically the same That's thing. a new follower. Basically the same thing. Dr. King, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. Jimmy, why aren't you moving? You're, you're empty enough, are you not? Oh, we got to get him down below 80%. That's why. I think you down below 80%. That should be it. Okay. Somebody's raiding the outhouse. Quick, get the TP. Mr. Maltese Panda with the raid. Thank you, Raiders, for joining your favorite content creator over here uh, on a different channel, supporting the community. Thanks so much, Panda, for the raid. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, buddy. Welcome, Raiders. Hope you had a good stream. Hope you had a good stream. Hope everything's going well for you. And I know what you were playing. I know you were playing some farm sim, so. <laughs> Probably should start turning back at some point here. This thing turns really, really well. Surprisingly. It turns really quick. Okay, we can get back on it pretty easily here. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get that whole row there all the way down. So what I might do is just ease over. And if it picks it up, it picks it up. But I want to, I like, right here would be fine with me. If it, if it picks up the next row over, that's fine. If it doesn't, that's fine, too. I don't plan on getting this whole thing. I probably could. But I'm going to stay on this edge here, and if it picks it up, that's great. I don't want to miss any on the left edge, though. We'll keep going with that. It's a little bit off of the grass there, so again, it's kind of... doesn't seem like there's a lot there, but... Same amount as any other row, really. Oh, no, we're missing the left edge. That's what I was talking about right there. They want to miss the left edge, and I started started drifting. Started drifting off there. All right. We're done with that. We, can put it. we got most of that, didn't we? Yeah, most of them one row. Jimmy's got an 80% grain tank again. So it's back and forth for us. And no matter which tractor we end up buying, we're keeping this Massey. So we may end up with two Massey Ferguson's. We may end up with a McCormick and a Massey. Which is fine. But yeah, I want to bring those bells up, up top right here to drop them there, I think. Probably not the worst idea I've ever had. How we do it over here? Still got uh, how many is that? Three. Oh God, I'm, I'm trying to stop. I'm just I just went past it. Back up. Uh, three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight uh, across. It'll be sixteen pallets sticking out once they're done. Once they're once once it's full, it'll be sixteen of them. Uh, which is pretty good. That's 8,000 liters, and that sells for 1,000 per 1,000, so that's not bad at all. I don't know. I'm not sure where I was going. I just kept hitting the gas instead of backing up. 
Jimmy is full. We'll get Jimmy emptied out here. Okay. Uh, where did I put the bailer? What does it say? Oh, it's right there. That's right. We had it hooked up to start with. I drove right past it a second ago. I was looking over at the greenhouse, though. Didn't even see it sitting here. Whoa! Easy, big fella. Easy. Center of gravity there. Okay. Come back over and get Jimmy emptied out here. Why is he? Why is he? Why are we backwards here now? What is? Oh, he's, he made it back to the top. All right. Fine, fine. That is a new straw. Even though it only holds ten. Still way better. Still way better. All right, another load. Uh, Fifty-three thousand to go, so it'll be put us down around the thirty thousand mark. Jimmy got a full grain tank again. Thirty-three thousand to go. Uh, if we could hold a full trailer load. We could do this in one more trip, but because we can't, it's going to be one trip, uh, one more trip, and then a piece of a trip, and then whatever's left we'll take to our farm. So. Good thing is, though, we've only got to do this one more time, and then we're good. The rest of it we'll hold on to until Sargram's at a good, solid price to sell. Because this one is 33,100 is all we have left to deliver. We go 13-2. We'll be taking 5,000. Uh, and then whatever else is left for the last trailer. Takes this old John Deere a minute to get caught up. Definitely only one more run there left for Jimmy. And we are close enough to full. We're going to go ahead and take it. Probably not going to, though. I never do. We always end up selling a little more than we need to. There we go. Kept as much as I possibly could. I just ran myself over with the head. Never good. Farming accidents are a real thing. People die every year in grain bins, running over themselves with equipment, running over each other with equipment. It's terrible. Oh, oh, easy, easy now. It was 4,700 in here, and we got 9,000 left in there. So that's really good. 13, 13,750 is what we got extra. How much does Sorghum sell for? 529 at the best price, so 500 per thousand. That's not bad. Again, this is just extra grain left over after these, uh, after these contracts. So actually doing pretty well with that. It is extra. And then we're going to have even more left over off field 29. Uh, I would take this back over there, but I think we're going to go ahead and take it over here to field 29. I just thought about that, too. I was like, I don't know why I'm going to send Jimmy back to the house. We'll just bring it over here. Well, that was, that was very awkward there. Hey, though. Take it with us this way, too, I guess. All right, let's hop out and hook, the, hook that up. Okay. Then I'm gonna cut through this field. Don't mind me. Cut this field. I think I'm gonna run a, a headland or two. Uh, one will probably work, but I'm gonna put Jimmy down on this end, going this way first, and then I'll come back and we'll start. And we'll start knocking this side out here. All right. 
start. And I don't know that he'll be able to take it and run it from here, so we may actually take this, once it fills up, we may take this down to the other end there. Because I'm going to be running, I'm going to be starting on this side anyway, that way I can put the tractor kind of in the middle of the field at some point for me. Uh, and I'll just drive the harvester over and empty it. So. I think it'll work out a lot better. I think it'll get done a lot faster. Jimmy driving back and forth to empty, me running around the field, because I don't, I don't take forever to turn like Jimmy does. Jimmy takes his precious time getting getting through there. So, uh, which will probably be the same way delivering the grain, but at least, at least it'll be closer. Uh, we may go ahead and set up a test loop just to see if he'll actually take it and get out of Jackson's Fall. Because he may not from here. He may not be able to find the road. But this is where we're going to start it out, down here. Again, it might seem silly, but I think this right here is probably the best spot. I'll just turn him that way, and we'll try this. Okay, Jimmy, try to find your way. Jack, is it Jackson's? Is that right? Go double check Jackson's farm. Sorghum on field twenty nine, Jackson's farm. Okay. Jackson Sawmill. Oh, Jackson's Farm. Looping. Yep. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right. One more time. Deliver. Jackson's Farm. Looping. Start job. Let's see if he can do it without running into the lake. Well, we're going to pretend he did not run through the lake, but I'm pretty sure he just drove through the lake. Right there. Don't mind driving down this far even when we get to the other end of the field. We'll turn right there. We're going to start Jimmy right here. Can you do this, Jimmy? Liver Johnson Jackson's far. Oh, hang on. Why, why are we starting over there? What is this? What is that doing? Uh, loading position. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I, I didn't realize we could do that. We can tell the loading position here. Uh, here. Like that. Okay. Start job. Right along with Jimmy. All right, let's go, Jimmy. Do this right. Don't you dare turn around and go through the lake. You know how upset I would be? Well, that was way closer than it needed to be, Jimmy. And he might actually turn and go back that way. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, there's a stop sign there. Oh, there is no stop sign. I just noticed that. There's no stop sign there. Okay. That's what Jimmy's doing. Okay, cool. See if this works. Just don't get confused on which road you need to take, Jimmy. It's this one. It's this one. Turn. Oh my god. Wait the last second to slow down. Okay, I think Jimmy's good. We are Jeffrey, yeah. We're watching Jimmy's drive line here to make sure he's doing the right thing. He keeps calling himself different names. Today he's Sarah. Yesterday he was Franz, so but it's just Jimmy. Uh, so we're, we're waiting to see if he can drive this route correctly. That's, that's the goal. Maybe he can. Nope. 
Not your road. Good. Okay. So we should be good. I'm going to go back and we are going to go ahead and jump in the harvester here. I'm going to take the harvester around the other side of the field. Give me some dummy. Can't drive from this side of the field. I'm trying to go through the lake and everything else. So we're going to go back around. Because uh, I'm not running back and forth every time here. I want to go down at 40%. Uh, 45% roughly. Well, I got a little leeway. Um, maybe maybe 48%. We'll turn, come back up. I want to see where that marker's going. 46, 47, 47, 48. Sweet. All right, good. So, yeah, we can go down and back right here. Uh, all the way across, really, because there's nothing. Uh, it just gets shorter as we go across there. That's good. Good to know. That means... By the time Jimmy gets back over here, Jimmy just emptied. So it was 9%, which is good. 9% on field 29. Delivered. So that's good. Jimmy is headed back. Yep. Down there. Turn back around. Come back up here. Good deal. Uh, I hope Jimmy does not try to go somewhere weird down here, though. That would make it really awkward. Please don't, Jimmy. Please don't. <laughs> just don't, don't do anything stupid. Just take the, take the paved roads until you get back over here next to the field. Take the paved road. Um, sometime tomorrow, we're going to flip over into the second part of August. And we're going to need to buy some more calves. Last time I bought six heifers and four calves. This time I'm buying uh, four calves and two heifers. We'll buy the calves first. That way I don't get confused on which one I'm buying. Ninety percent, ninety-one, ninety-two. Perfect. If I hadn't taken that headland off, we'd probably be full. I'm glad I took the headland off, though. All right. Well, wait on Jimmy to get back, cause I don't know what Jimmy's gonna do. So I'm just gonna cut, kill the engine there. There you come. Back around. Back around. Full speed ahead. Yeah. See, it says Worker Sarah. That's Jimmy. Kind of fool us. I see you, Jimmy. Yeah, but for 19 more thousand, I couldn't turn it down. We had to do this job, too. And if we do some calculations real quick. We got 44,000 wheat sells for 400. So just call it 500 per thousand. Because we got four extra thousand. Just call it 500 per thousand. That's 20 grand right there. Oats, 600. And 42. Let's call it 640. So just call it 600. Uh, that's another... No, no, that's not your turn. Keep going. Uh, that's another 20,000. That's 40,000 right there, plus a little extra probably. Uh, a little bit of barley we got. We'll keep for the chickens. No big deal there. Canola, 700 per thousand. So, uh, 12, 24, 48, 60, 72. Uh, so, what about... 77,000, something like that. So it's 40, 47,000 right there. And then sorghum sells for 500 per thousand. And we should have about 25 to 30,000 left over. So it'd be another 12 to 15,000 right there. So that's that in just in just grain alone that we're going to be selling in December and January. November, December, January. Uh, yeah, November, December, January. Uh, and just grain alone we're going to be selling. We're going to have about fifty or 60000 off of that. So we don't need that much more to buy that McCormick. We just have to wait. We just have to have time. That's the main thing. Plus, we got bales we're going to be selling. we got silage bales. we got a lot of silage bales we're going to be selling. So um, we got straw bales we're going to be selling, which is not that much. But we got a lot of silage bales we're going to be selling. So, yeah, we're going to have plenty of money to buy that, buy that new McCormick tractor. And maybe even get the Heston Baylor and trailer. We'll have to see. All right, Jimmy. I want to see what you do right here. Let's see what happens. Put the loading position right down here for you. So let's see. Do what you do. All right. Turning. Okay. 
I may have put the loading position in the crops, but I was trying to put it on the edge of the field, so we'll see. Beautiful. Magnifico. Magnifico. I know it works. But that is going to do it for me today, folks. I appreciate you for being here. We'll, we'll work on this some tomorrow. Uh, we'll work on the bales as we go. It's not a, it's not a super big deal. Uh, we'll work on them as we go. Again, I just want to get one more cut out of them, and it ain't going to matter if I cut it today or tomorrow, or if I get them baled today or tomorrow. The grass is going to be growing regardless. So as long as I get them off the field before the grass gets grown, we're good. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we'll work on this some more tomorrow. I appreciate y'all. If you're watching later on YouTube, remember you can check all the channels down below. I have a main YouTube channel called Deuce of Mess. I have a second uh, YouTube channel called Pixel Deuce Plays, and this is my VOD channel for Twitch, uh, Farmer Deuce. Find me over on twitch.tv slash deuce MS uh, for now, maybe. Uh, that's going to do it for me today. I appreciate you guys. Timing is immaculate. Yeah, Pizza Hut, absolutely. Yeah, you catch me just at the end. Uh, but you can always go catch up on the Farmer Deuce channel. You know that. So uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Later, folks. <laughs>